Hi, we're here with Magali from Rose and Maris doing a little shopping in Aix-en-Provence. Um, I really wanted to come to this place, it's one of my favourite, favourite shops in, in Aix. Magali's going to tell us a little bit about the history of the place. So you haven't been open that long, Magali, it's a, it's a couple of years. Why did you come to Provence? Why did you create this, this wonderful um, brand? The idea was to I mean, I wanted to embellish the daily life of my customer with exceptional creation, all handmade in Provence, and uh, telling the story of my uh, uh, memory, uh, childhood memory. Um, I wanted to, to offer the possibility of my customer to live uh, the experience of uh, the Provencal art of living through uh, our perfumes. And they are all about um, souvenir from my childhood in my grandmother's house. And of course, Provence is all about the, the, the scent of Provence, of the Garrigue, yes. the lavender, um, and so that is that is that what really inspired you? Yes, and also um, the specific art of living we have in uh, in mm -hmm. Provence. For example, for me, mm -hmm. the having a glass of rosé wine mm -hmm. with your friends or family is part of this slow life. Uh, we, I mean, and we love this. So of course, we have created a fragrance inspired by this moment of life. And so every summer you used to come down and visit your grandmother, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, when mm -hmm. I was a little girl and her name was Rose. Yeah. This is why the, the brand name is yeah. Rose et Marius, because Marius is a name typical from Provence yeah. and Rose was the name of my grandmother. And she had a, a beautiful old Bastille, was it yes. where else was it? It was in the Le Var, okay. so close from here, about one hour from here. Yeah. And where did you live other, other, uh, for the rest of the year? Yes, yes. I was, I, was, um, I was in Paris with yeah. my family, yeah. but all my family is from south of France. Okay. So I used to, to visit my grandmother and it was part of my, you know, my yeah. roots. So it was really important for me. And then you, you had a working life in Paris, did you, for a bit? Yes, yes. I used to work in the luxury industry for a long time. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> As for brands such as Cartier, Piaget. And your shop is opposite Hermes. So, yeah. Um. yeah, that's fun. And, um, you know, uh, I, I, I love to travel around the world. And uh, when I was uh, a little girl, my dream was to, to make a world tour uh, around the world. So when I was my lovers, we, with my lover, sorry. <laughs> you many lovers. No, no, my lover. We decided to, uh, to, 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 uh, you know, for, to take a one year off yeah. around the world. And uh, during this moment, you know, I, I, you know, I was so surprised to see how Provence was well known uh, all around the world, even in the small village in the middle of nowhere. And uh, when I came back, I decided to create the first luxury brand from South of France. So should we have a look at a few of your products? Um, we have the candle range behind us. Yes. And they work in a, a unique way, don't they? Exactly. As I told you, my, my wish is to embellish the daily life of my customers. So, of course, I wanted to have a candle that smells good, which is, of course, very important. But also, I wanted to have a very decorative object that you can reuse again and again. So, because to me, Provence is, of course, the scent, but also, you know, the, the white light you have during summer, I wanted to have a candle that becomes translucent during, when you light it. So we decided to use uh, the porcelain from Limoges uh, because of course Limoges is not in Provence but to me it's the finest Provence, uh, finest uh, porcelain because it's so white and so thin that when you light a candle it becomes translucent just yeah. like this, you see? And um, the idea for our customer is uh, to choose one design, one color, if they prefer gold or platinum because it's all about uh, of course, uh, very noble materials, and then you choose your fragrance, for example. And the designs were based on the, um, the floor tiles, is that right? Yes. In your, your grandmother's house? Yes, exactly, because when I was visiting my grandmother in uh, Provence, on the floor you had all these beautiful tiles, yeah. and because she was a bit special, and uh, she, she woke up very, very late, uh, so you know, I, I was born in this big, big house, so I have all these stories in my head with all these tiles, so for me, when I decided to create Rosé Marius, it was you know, like an evidence to use these tiles to yeah. sign all our creations. So they are all about, you know, all souvenirs from the tiles, or this one, which is a, a new one. Uh, it's because I live in front of the sea. And uh, this is the, you know, when you have the sun yeah. uh, on, the, on the Mediterranean Sea. So uh -huh. you have new designs inspired by the tiles and also all designs from the tiles. So you, you choose the cup and then you choose the fragrance. For example, this is the rosé wine. 
Yes. <laughs> we'll be see. tasting some of that later. <laughs> I have some upstairs, yeah. of course. And you see, it's um, like this. <coughs> you put the candle inside, yeah. and when you light it, of course, it becomes translucent. And when it's finished, just put on the dishwasher without any problem, and then you can refill it again and again. Yes. yes. Imagine them on a beautiful sort of summer evening on the terrace. Exactly, it, it looks amazing. Yeah. And what is really nice is during the day when you have you know the, the sand with all the platinum or gold, it makes like shadows on the furniture, which is really nice as well. And what other products do you have? So we have also the. Um, this uh, this product, which is the home diffuser, yeah. it's a very specific home diffuser because no alcohol inside, only organic oils, mm -hmm. and we put a very big quantity of perfume because we want you know that it's yeah. it, it's efficient. And um, so, for example, you will find the rosé wine, but also the fresh mint or the smell of you know the little madeleine, the little cookies. Uh -huh. and, uh, you have I, want, I want the cookie and madeleine one. <laughs> You know, in, in France, we have a, an, an expression which is Madeleine de Proust. Right. It means it's your souvenir from your childhood. Yeah. You know, it's Proust, which was a, a writer, yeah. French writer. And this is the story of when you are, you know, a kid and you come back from school and in your kitchen yeah. you have all this amazing fragrance of butter and sugar. Of the You've milk. recreated that. Exactly. Let me know if you like it. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly like it. Mm. <laughs> so um, it's it's more for. Um, and see, diffuse that around yeah. your home. And can you imagine during yeah. winter? Yeah. You know, it it smells. You know, it's like uh, cocooning fragrance yeah. for your home. I have something totally different. Um, it's a souvenir from my child and my grandmother as well. With all my cousins, because we are a big, big family, we used to run in the park, and we had all the fragrances. You know, from the grass with yeah. a. Uh, grass and uh, wild mint and basil leaves. So we have this one, which is really fresh. Wild mint and basil. Yeah. yeah. So really fresh. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fresh. Oh, so you have that for the winter. Yes. And this for the summer. Exactly. <laughs> Would you like to try another one? Oh, go on a third. <laughs> which is an iconic fragrance from from our company. It's uh, the fig tree, yep. you know, um, because in my grandma's house you had a big, 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 big fig tree and we used to take the nap under the fig tree. So we wanted to recreate the, the smell of the sun in the leaf. Don't, which is don't do what I do, well, what, what I did, which is plant one fig tree in my garden, because you need to plant two, because otherwise you fruit. <laughs> Doesn't yes. work. Yes, 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 you're totally right. <laughs> and, uh, oh, where is it? And you know, often some customer, when they smell it, they, they have a little, uh, you know, they're yeah. Oh. yeah, because I think it um, it reminds a lot of souvenir from a lot lot of people yeah. from here, because you will see it's um, it's really green and fresh, a bit woody. Yeah. You see what That's I mean? Lovely. It's exactly the fragrance when you walk, yeah. you know. In Provence, and you have all the smell in here, which is so typical. So, if you visit Provence, you take these back, you can take the smell of Provence in Exactly. Uh, That's the idea. And after you can refill it, because we, I mean, for us it's very important to reuse and try, you know, not to, um, to be, I mean, sustainable development is important for us. So, we try to refill all our products. And the other thing that we were talking about is you created upstairs here a, a little room where you can create your own perfume. Exactly. So uh, after I, I can show you. I think we're going to go upstairs and have a little go. I wanted to show you our soaps because they are really different. So as I told you, for example, this one is the fig tree. Yeah. So when you open it, you have engraved That's the easy. same yeah. design yeah. of the, you know, the tile you have uh, here. And uh, you see, this is the the fig tree. And soap making has a long history for Provence as well. Exactly, and it's all natural, yeah. of course all homemade. And what is really unique is you can um, engrave a personal name. Yeah. If you want, I mean for the art of gifting, if you yeah. want to offer it for your mom, for your friend, you can engrave a little sentence. It's almost too pretty to wash your hands with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, the name goes. <laughs> if 
if you don't like the person. <laughs> <laughs> and we can do it in one minute yeah. here, right now. Oh, really? yeah. yeah. So this is the, um, the, the soap. We have a huge range of soap. Of course, the rosy wine, which is our iconic fragrance with the, you know, body lotion, hair mask, shampoo, because we work with a cast source for, from the, the area and we use this fragrance in the, in the room. And also we have all these fragrances from for the body, dish perfumes. So I wanted to um, to show you the last one, which is you know we have Saint Victor, which is yeah, one debut avec César. We have just been up on the the the, the Pantio, oh. the Pant, and we've been filming up there. So this is this is very appropriate. Oh great, perfect. <laughs> is it is it the snow from up there? Exactly. <laughs> okay. You know, I mean, in my imagination. Yeah. It's because to me Cezanne is, you know, represents so well the, you know, Aix en Provence. So I wanted to pay tribute to um, La Saint Victoire. So we have imagined during summer when it's really hot and we have all the smells from, you know, the herbs and yeah. the woods and um, so we have created this perfume which is unisex. Um, we have we have notes of a flower I love, which is immortal flower. Yeah. And uh, so it gives this specific note of uh, liquor rice, anise, and then you have leather notes, amber, you know, to attract like, the heat of the fragrance. It doesn't, make, it doesn't make you smell like Cezanne, because I know he was out <laughs> in all weather, sort of lugging, lugging his painting gear up the mountain. Uh, no, you know, it's really unique. It's, uh, that is amazing, isn't it? It's beautiful, that? yeah. You have uh, the tobacco notes yeah. to, to give them, um, you know, something really special and unique. And this one is the last one, it was not uh, this one. No, you're right, I could, I could wear that. Yeah, 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 it's unisex. And it's, you know, like this just smell something really, yeah. really unique. Yeah. Okay, let's head upstairs. We got delayed.